I just met Coach J today. At first, I thought he was going to be all strict. You know, he wasn't really looking at me while he was driving in the car. But he turned out to be real cool, real down to earth. He was really, like, he actually cared, like, how I wanted to do. And, you know, he was really thoughtful. He asked me what I wanted to do, got an idea of what kind of person I was, and then really what I can try to work on to improve myself. So in a way, he looked at me and then found a way to make myself better. I didn't have multiple meetings with Coach Shea, and what I found out about him, he was one of the realest people that you'll ever meet. The way he deal with you with Coach Shea, and what I found out about him, he was one of the realest people that you'll ever meet. The way he deal with youth and motivates them. And I also meet him with Coach Jay. And when I found out he wanted the realest people that you ever meet, the way he deals with youth, he just motivate them, keep them encouraged, and make sure they don't fall behind. He set up a program with us if we made straight days for the next two nine weeks. He'll take us to meet whoever we want to meet. And just like keep encouraging us to do better with ourselves. Coach Jay is like a caring father figure for the people who don't have it. He makes ways to provide you with resources and opportunities. Most people don't have that. He provides a loving and safe place for you to talk about your problems and just keep encouraging you no matter what and do better with yourself. I enjoyed this session with Coach Jay because he taught me that I am worth it enough and I can do anything in life if I put my mind to it. Today's topic is more than enough team power. Most of our teens out here today are going through a lot of difficulties and they find it very hard to find their place in society. They find it very hard to find their place among friends, so-called friends, and also enemies out there. And right now I'm hearing a lot of different excuses from adults saying that what we can't do, what we should be doing, what we cannot do. Guess what guys? If we learn how to see ourselves as more than enough, we don't see ourselves as absent. These are the type of things that we have to nurture in ourselves. Not only do we have to nurture ourselves, parents, you too, must nurture your children. This is something that we must do. If you see your children doing something that you feel like is endangering their health, guess what? You don't always have to say, stop, 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 stop. Nurture the natural things that you want to see them do. That's what it takes. Because guess what? They have the ability, believe me, they do have the ability to make the proper choices in life. But all you need to do is, you need to offer them, you must offer them the proper tools. Set them up. You know, scripture tells us, train our children in a way so that they can go out into the world and be good and plentiful in life. How do we do this? Look at the basic things in life that they need. They need love. They need compassion, and they need forgiveness. Nurture that in your children, and I guarantee you, your children will be okay. Believe me, because love sustains all things. Forgiveness, it allows them to continue to move on without holding malice against somebody else or themselves.